Good evening. Today I'd like to talk about zeroing off a micrometer screw gauge. Before start using any micrometer, we should verify that this micrometer doesn't contain any zero error. If there is a zero error on the micrometer and this micrometer is used, so the readings we get becomes incorrect so that it's called a systematic error. And the systematic error means that the observed reading is even it is more than the correct reading or less than the correct reading by a constant amount. Any micrometer should be equipped with a spanner or a wrench. And as you see here in this micrometer, on the sleeve of this micrometer, there is a small hole and this small hole is simply used in order to remove the zero error. How to make the zeroing of a micrometer with the least range, which means range of zero up to 25 mm or zero up to one inch range. First of all, we should wipe and clean the contacts. Then we should close the micrometer completely. Of course, we should close the micrometer completely by using the ratchet stop instead of rotating the thimble. After closing the micrometer, we should lock the screw of the micrometer and we should check for the, the position of the reference line and the zero line on the thimble scale. If there is any offset between these two lines, so we should mechanically get rid of this error by using the spanner or the wrench as shown in the figure number four. This micrometer shows the case of a zero error. As you see here, the micrometer is completely closed. Of course, closing the micrometer should be done by rotating the ratchet stop instead of rotating the thimble. So, as you see here, the index line or the reference line on the sleeve is up to the zero line on the thimble scale. So, there is an offset between these two lines. So, simply we can use the wrench as shown in the figure below so that we can rotate the sleeve. See that when you rotate the sleeve, the thimble doesn't rotate at all. How to make the zeroing of a micrometer with higher range? Of course, a micrometer with higher range, we should use a holder so that the, the frame of the micrometer should be clamped to this holder. So as you see here, there is what's called a standard rod this standard rod the dimension for this rod is two inches so the range of this micrometer is simply from two up to three inches so we insert this standard rod between the two faces and then we lock the micrometer by using the lock lever or screw and if there is any offset between the reference line and the zero line we should use the wrench or spanner in order to rotate the sleeve so that these two lines lines up with other we have three cases for any zero error case number a there is no zero error here at all, simply because the index line or the reference line on the sleeve lines up with mark zero on the thimble scale. In the second case, which is case B, as you see here, the zero line on the thimble scale is below the reference or index line on the sleeve. So in this case, we have a positive zero error. 
positive zero error means simply that there is a reading in this micrometer and also this micrometer is completely closed. The third case, which is case C, as you see here, the zero line on the thimble scale is above the index or reference line on the sleeve. So in this case, we have a negative zero error. And simply negative zero error means that the reading by using this micrometer is less than the correct reading. So these are the three cases for any zero error of a micrometer. How to get rid of zero error? For none, we should do nothing. For positive, we say that the zero mark on thimble is below the datum line. For negative, the zero mark on thimble is above the datum line. Mechanically, we can get rid of zero error by using the range, the spanner or range, and we can fix the this error mathematically by take the reading on the thimble and subtract it from the final reading. Let's understand these concepts by solving these examples here. Here we have a micrometer which is completely closed. So we are asked to determine the value of the zero error. First of all, we should determine whether the zero error is positive or negative. Simply we check for the location of the reference line and the zero line on the thimble scale. In this case, the reference line is above the zero line on the thimble scale. So in this case, we have a positive zero error. Regarding determining the value of or the amount of this error, we simply count how many graduations between these two lines. So as you see here, we have three graduation. And each graduation simply means 0.01 mm. So in this case, we have 0.03 mm zero error. So we have here a positive zero error and the value of this positive zero error is simply 0 0.03. So the correct answer is answer number B. Let's see this another question here. As you see here, the reference line or the index line or the datum line comes below the zero line on the thimble scale. So in this case, we have a negative zero error. Regarding the value or the amount of this error, simply we count how many graduations between these two lines. So if you count, you will find two graduations. So the value of the zero error is simply point or minus point zero two mm. So the correct answer is answer number D. Let's say take this question. What's the correct reading of this micrometer? We chose zero error. This photo shows that the micrometer is completely closed. So first, we should determine whether this error is positive or negative. So the reference lines is above the zero line on the thimble scale. So we have a positive zero error. Regarding the value of this zero error, we count how many graduations between these two lines. So simply we have one graduation and one graduation is equal to 0 0.01 mm. So this is the value of the zero error for this micrometer. If we use this micrometer and make the reading, we see that the micrometer shows this reading. So this is called the observed reading. 
So in order to determine the observed reading, we simply read this micrometer. As we have said in previous presentation, the last line on the sleeve scale is this line. And this line is line number 10 and half millimeter. So we should add here zero. And regarding the thimble scale reading, as you see here, line number 22 is closer to the reference line. So line number 22 is read as 0.22 mm. Now we can simply sum up these two values. So the reading becomes 10.72 mm. So this is the observed reading. So the observed reading is 10.72 mm. Now we can make the correction of the reading mathematically. So the correct reading is simply the observed reading minus the zero error. So the correct reading is simply 10.72 minus the value of the zero error, which is 0 0.01. So the correct reading is simply 10.71 mm. So this is the way how to make the correction of the zero error on a micrometer, whether we use a mechanical method by using the spanner or mathematically by using this formula. That's all. Thank you for your watching. Goodbye.